once you've done this Q group thing, where the phase locked and you're using a Q reference, you, uh, we saw how as soon as you switch on the Q, these transient markers become solid. But there's, a, there's something a bit weird here, and that is that at this point they are still transient markers. And the reason I say that is because they are quantizable. Okay. Mm. Look, they're all groups, so they're all quantized, but I'll, I'll put them into 16s. And they quantize two sixteenths. If I zoom in, there you go, sixteenths, right? They're zooming, they're being snapped to the nearest quant, uh, quantized value, which is sixteenths. If I change this to twelfths, they're snapping to twelfths. Now if I put the uh, the division into twelfths, there they are, right bang on the line, okay? So even though the queue is on and these these what were previously very light grey transient markers. Let me take the queue off. I'm sure this region has got one light grey one. There's one there, which which isn't bold because we're taking the queue reference from these transient markers on this track. But if I put the queue on here, no, it still hasn't done it. You see that trans? Oh, maybe it's because we're in quantize. Hang on. Ah, there you go. Now it's put it in. So. What I want to show you is basically, or maybe you can get your head around it, but this is as far as I've got with it. <coughs> Once you have put this group type thing on, the transit markers become solid, but they're not flex markers because they're quantizable. Flex markers are not quantizable. And I'll show you that by, I'll just zoom in on this bit here. Okay, now watch. Currently, we're not quantized, and you can see that these are not on the 16s. I will quantize, and you can see they jump to go to the nearest 16. Now, I will get the flex tool. Actually, I don't even need it. I can use the pointer tool. It doesn't matter once you're in this flex Q mode. And I can put just here, outside of that 16, I'll put in a new flex marker. There it is, and of course they're grouped so it goes across every single track. But it is clearly not on a sixteenth there. Now watch, I'll quantize sixteenths. You see, everything else jumps to a sixteenth, but this one doesn't. Now people could argue, well, oh, that's how it should be, because if you had applied flex to this drum track and then quantized it, and then you wanted to put in a flex marker, let me just undo that, get rid of it, requantize. Right, let's say I'd quantized my drum beat, and I liked it quantized. I wanted to have quite a robotic sounding beat for a pop tune or something. And then I wanted to tweak something with the flex. People would argue, well, if you do put in that flex marker so it goes orange, and then you make that little tweak. Of course, if it quantized was on and flex markers did quantize, as soon as you let go, it would snap back to the 16th. So that makes sense. Yeah, fair enough. But the problem comes if you decide you've changed your mind and you want to get rid of this flex marker. There is no way of turning it back to a solid transient marker that can be quantized. Um, I haven't found a way. There's no menu for it. You can delete the flex marker by holding down control, which for me brings up my... Um, my shortcut menu because I've got right click assigned to my toolbox. Maybe for you, you right click on that orange blob. I don't know, but control and delete flex marker. Now the grey line is still there, look, but you notice it hasn't deleted them off all the other tracks, even though they're grouped. So that's, that's I don't know if that's a bug or deliberate. I'm, I haven't got time to get my head around it at the moment to decide if that's sensible. Okay, so I've removed it. The grey line is still here, but of course it isn't quantized. So I'll take it out of quantize, okay, and now it has become a solid grey line again. Put it back into quantize, well now it's doing it, but I can absolutely assure you that there is a problem sometimes in that that will not become a solid grey line again and it just sits there refusing to be recognised. Okay, now the other thing happens if you want to come out of the group mode and Maybe you've been experimenting with a couple of things in a group and then you want to apply something creative. 
OK, so I'll show you that. Look, I will take this track out of group. No group. OK, so now I can select it as a region on its own. Now, although it's out of group and there's no more Q button, these markers are still solid. If I turn flex off and then on again, they're still solid. Let me take it out of quantize. Now they go back to light grey, but sometimes you'll do this and they just will not come out of being light grey. Uh, out of that fixed solid grey and if they won't or you get into any problems where flex markers disappear and they can't be brought back or whatever or you've got flex markers that won't go away that were put in from another f track that was being used as a cue reference when it the track that you're working on was part of a group or whatever all you can do is go back into the sample editor and re-analyze re-detect the transients you have to do it all over again that's the only way to fix it. You may run into a sticky bug. And I've, I've run into them endlessly. I've spent the last four days messing with this now and again over you know three, four, five, six hour sessions. All right, now let's put some transients in. I'm going to knock some of them out because there's too many. Just I'm going to knock them out until that one goes on that little blip. Go on, get there. It is right. Okay, so now you know. So you may get into problems where you can't get those vertical things to disappear, or there's a grey line there that won't disappear, or there's a missing transient that won't reappear, or you have to delete an orange handle and then you can't get the grey transient marker to come back, whatever. Just go into the sample editor and reanalyze it and then, and then adjust it using the plus minus, or draw any extras in manually, which you can do with the pencil like that. Yeah, and you can rub them out, and you can move them around manually like that. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to have to show you the stutter effect in another video because of this YouTube 10 minute thing. So, But I just wanted to make clear this whole difference between grey, light grey transient markers which are quantizable, solid grey markers which are not flex markers that are also um, quantizable and proper flex markers with handles which are not quantizable. Okay. And next we'll move on, I'll show you how to do a stutter effect.